This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. This is the Noon Barbados Today update for Tuesday, February 4th, 2014. I'm Don Paris. Former Prime Minister Owen Arthur says he has no ambition of leading either the Barbados Labour Party or the country again. And he says after 30 years in politics, he doesn't want to be a discordant voice in the opposition party either. His assertion comes weeks after a letter in which he indicated that he no longer had confidence in opposition leader Mia Motley was made public. In that December 30th, 2013, in correspondence, he also expressed concern that Motley went against his wishes by naming him as a nominee for her proposed eminent persons group. But speaking to the media before heading into this morning's session of Parliament, Arthur said that the nature of politics was such that from time to time, a person is under bombardment and a man is entitled to his self-defense. The former Prime Minister insists he's not hungry for power in spite of what people are saying. Arthur says he's achieved substantially in the political arena and doesn't have any more ambition in that area. As for government's retrenchment program, Arthur said it's a sad state of affairs and he takes no comfort in seeing what he had predicted coming to pass. Education Minister Ronald Jones says bullying is a criminal act which must be rooted out of the island's schools and out of society as a whole. He says the damage that it's caused is tremendous and even borders on psychotic. We have, we have to work harder that we've been working before. The country cannot carry the scars of damaged people. There are too many. The uncorrected bully of today is the graduated criminal of tomorrow. And for that graduated criminal, we have to spend per year between $45,000 and $50,000. Our secondary schools, um, it takes about five, sorry, about $3,000, $4,000 educate a child per year. Meantime, Executive Director of Supreme Counseling for Personal Development, Sean Clark, is calling for government to get on board with the program, noting that their involvement and that of students as well will be vital for making any headway in the issue. We need to work with our children. Bullying must now be seen, Mr. Minister, sir, like tourism. It must become everybody's business. We can no longer sit and believe that because we have a child who goes to church every Saturday or every Sunday, devotion with the family every Wednesday evenings, prayer every morning, you have a well-rounded child. The National Task Force on Crime Prevention is about to undertake a survey to determine how satisfied Barbadians are with the performance of the police force. It begins next Monday. The task force not only wants to know what the public thinks about police attitude and performance, but they're looking for suggestions on how lawmen can be more effective and efficient. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it.
In the region, the Grenada government wants trade unions to accept a three-year wage freeze as it seeks to enter into an agreement with the International Monetary Fund. Minister of Economic Development, Planning and Trade Oliver Joseph says the Keith Mitchell administration wants the unions to give assurances of support ahead of signing and submitting a letter of intent to the IMF. He says the sooner the agreement can be signed, the better, so the first set of money can be released. Internationally now, the World Health Organization is warning that the number of cancer cases could surge by 57% in the next 20 years, and it's the developing world that will bear the brunt of the increase, calling it a tidal wave of cancer. WHO scientists say the number of cases will reach 24 million a year by 2035, but half of those could be prevented by tackling smoking, obesity, and drinking. That's where we end the noon update. Join us again at 6 this evening. Until then, log on to www.barbadistoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper, and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Don Paris. Vic Finance is up next with the Business Minute. The Business Minute is brought to you by To my people out there working hard To expand your horizons Chasing a flawless dream Keep your eyes on the prize and We don't look back It's forward thinking On to the new stuff It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future Get set with me Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs. The Business Minute is brought to you by... To my people out there working hard To expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back It's forward thinking, on to the new stuff It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs. This is the Barbados Today Business Minute for Tuesday, February 4th, 2014. I'm Vic Fernandes. Businesses indirectly affected by public sector layoffs are getting a bit of a reprieve from one local bank. Managing Director of Republic Bank Barbados Limited, Ian D'Souza, says that financial institution has been working with its corporate customers as government begins its own downsizing exercise, which may lead to falls in revenue and profitability for those companies. With 3,000 people uh, being laid off, that of course is going to result in a contraction in the economy. And with that contraction, we find that local businesses are going to experience a contraction in revenue and, and profitability. So on the corporate commercial side of our business, we are also working very, very closely with customers who may need to have their, 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 their debt profiles adjusted. And in similar fashion, uh, we will be doing things like consolidations, uh, extending longer terms for repayment of loans. Barbados will be added to the list of destinations for the leisure carrier service Air Canada Rouge. Zaina Gideon, Vice President of Sales and Distribution at Air Canada, says the service is scheduled to start this summer with two flights on the weekends. Still with tourism, the Inter-American Development Bank says Barbados needs to do more to grow the sector and it's willing to help. The IDB says it's willing to provide financing and technical support to help the island diversify through new markets like Brazil and other Latin American countries. And now for today's financial tip. An important strategy for reducing the overall cost of your dream home is to save up and apply a larger down payment upfront. You'll have to borrow less from the bank and therefore incur less interest charges. That's been the Barbados Today Business Minute. Join us again on Thursday. Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribing to our e-paper, and liking us on Facebook. I'm Vic Fernandes. 
The Business Minute is brought to you by... To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for Signia to be sure. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs.